On the afternoon of Wednesday, September 30th, 1998, a Little League football team in Income, Idaho was out on the field for its midweek practice, and it began to rain lightly. But that was of no concern to a group of boys who loved playing football. Suddenly, seemingly out of nowhere, an absolutely deafening crack of thunder split the air, inseparable from the flash of lightning that illuminated, literally electrified, the entire scene. Instinctively, they started running for the concrete pavilion adjacent to the park. Some of the boys began to cry. Many of them fell to their knees and began to pray. Through it all, A.J. Edwards lay motionless on the field. Brother David Johnson rushed to the player's side. He shouted to coach and fellow ward member Rex Schaefer, I can't get a pulse. He's in cardiac arrest. These two men, rather miraculously both emergency medical technicians, started a life against death effort in CPR. Cradling AJ's head as the men worked was the young defensive coach of the team, 18-year-old Bryce Reynolds. As he watched Brother Johnson and Brother Schaefer urgently applying CPR, he had an impression. I am confident it was a revelation from heaven in every sense of the word. As he held this young deacon in his arms, he realized that for the first time in his life, he needed to use his newly conferred Melchizedek priesthood. Young Bryce Reynolds had been ordained an elder just 39 days earlier. Whether he audibly spoke the words or only uttered them under his breath, Elder Reynolds said, A.J. Edwards, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and authority of the Melchizedek priesthood which I hold, I bless you that you will be okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. As Bryce Reynolds closed that brief but fervent blessing offered in the language of an 18-year-old, A.J. Edwards drew his first renewed breath. Now, not every prayer is answered so immediately, and not every priesthood declaration can command the renewal or the sustaining of life. Sometimes the will of God is otherwise. But young men, you will learn, if you have not already, that in frightening, even perilous moments, your faith and your priesthood will demand the very best of you, and the best you can call down from heaven. You must be ready and worthy to act. That is why the Lord repeatedly says in the scriptures, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. Brethren, the day may come. Indeed, I am certain it will come when in an unexpected circumstance or a time of critical need, lightning will strike so to speak, and the future will be in your hands. Brethren, sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. In the name of Jesus Christ, 